I've done one uh, Alaskan meal sharpening video. Uh, this is one for the mini meal. Uh, you just watched the previous video. We we cut about 21 feet or 20 and a half feet without sharpening the chain, without refueling. Um, I will touch every cutter with two strokes of the file using an Oregon gauge. Uh, you'll notice on the bar right here, it says November the 7th. That's when I last flipped that bar. And there's been a lot of water under the bridge and a lot of sawdust through that saw since then. And we're still running on it. Also notice the chain slack. I'm going to adjust that chain also before I cut the next cut. I want all those drivers up inside the bar rails. Uh, that's my practice. used to be that if the middle driver was touching the bottom of the bar like that, that'd be okay. But I have since changed my method, and I want all those drivers up inside the bar rail. So bear with me. I'm going to hit every one of these cutters, and then I'll pull the camera off the tripod and show you what we've done. I have the chain marked in two places so that I have a start and stop point. It's marked twice if, because I forgot that I had marked it once before. And that mark is right here and we'll get to that. Uh, I push the chain away from me, push the back of the cutters. If you're pulling this way, obviously you're going to cut yourself. Lesson I learned the hard way. So mark your chain either with a magic marker or a file. I've got mine marked right here. And here we go. Tap, tap, rotate. Handlebar is nice if you're left handed. Also, the saw rolls over like you saw it do in previous videos. It helps to protect the saw. This is 375 full comp standard chain with a 10 degree top plate. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in just a moment. Okay, we've been all the way around the chain. I think it's 72 drivers on this chain. Here I have a spot filed between the rivets, not on a cutter, but between the cutters right here. Got one there, and I have one here. Uh, I had forgotten that I'd already done it and did it again. Now, as to the top plate, uh, you'll notice on this file guide, we're looking at 25 degrees right there. Right beside it, I have 
10 degrees uh, cut into this thing and it is hardened and my father's a machinist slash tool maker and he cut that in there so I've got a 10 degree top plate and that's in reference to that cutter right there we want those 10 degrees for ripping zero on some chains I've noticed these are 10 degrees uh, you'll also notice uh, here at my thumbnail the tops of the depth gauges uh, this chain is pretty aggressive. I told you I like to stay around 25 to 30 thousandths on the Alaskan for sure. I have gone as much as 40 thousandths and that makes for really rough milling. Uh, but keep track of that also. So I wanted to show you that. Uh, every 20 feet or so of ripping, uh, two strokes per tooth. Thank you for watching.